monster great white shark hooked near South Carolina. A fisherman who routinely catches and releases sharks had the experience of a lifetime after hooking not one but two of the great predators in a single day. After setting off near the Hilton Head Coast in South Carolina on Tuesday, Chip Michelov and his two-person crew hooked a great white shark weighing a whopping 3,000 pounds. But before they could catch the mammoth shark, it spit out the hook and swam away. The disappointed fisherman nearly called it a day, but decided to give it another shot. Another great white soon came biting, this one more modestly sized at nine and a half feet long. After a bit of a struggle, the crew finally caught the fella, put an acoustic tag on him, and sent him on his merry way. Tags typically stay on for seven years and provide scientists with helpful data to study and protect the majestic predators. All in all, it was a pretty productive day for Michelov and his crew. Still, the fisherman can't help but pine for the one that got away. Want to see more about one of the ocean's most dangerous predators? Here's five more stories about great white sharks. Meet Deep Blue, the biggest great white shark ever filmed. An environmental conservation group has released footage of probably the biggest great white shark anyone has ever seen. The video, taken in 2013, was only made public via Facebook on Monday by Mauricio Hoyos Padilla, director of Palacio Cancuja Marine Conservation in Mexico. The shark was filmed near Isla Guadalupe, a volcanic island west of Mexico. The shark has been named Deep Blue. She measures a staggering 20 feet long. That's only 10 feet shy of the size of an average whale shark. The group also estimated that she is around 50 years old. And good news if you like big sharks, they think Deep Blue was pregnant. In June, Padilla told Live Science that the shark was swimming too close to the diving cage. The dive master tried to gently push the shark away so it didn't get hurt by the pointed corners of the cage. However, Deep Blue was so big that she could not even turn properly. Great white sharks typically average around 15 feet in length and generally weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Females are known to swim close to shore when giving birth. Scientists track great white shark across the Atlantic. A great white shark nicknamed Lydia has become the first great white observed to cross the Atlantic Ocean. The great white shark Lydia was first trapped in waters off Jacksonville, Florida in March 2013 before a GPS tracking device was fitted on her dorsal fin while she was still awake. She was then released to continue her journey in the ocean. The tracking technology updates every time the fin rises above the surface of the water. Lydia already traveled around 32,200 kilometers since she was tagged about a year ago and has crossed the Mid-Atlantic Ridge earlier this month. Researchers speculate that her journey across the Atlantic may indicate she is pregnant. Diver gives monstrous great white shark a high five. If you saw this enormous shark swimming right up to you, wouldn't you scramble into your cage as fast as your flippers could carry you? Not this guy. A video that's making the rounds online shows what might be the largest shark ever filmed underwater. In it, shark expert Mauricio Hoyos Padilla exits his cage to high five the beast. The great white shark, named Deep Blue, is an estimated 20 feet long. The average great white measures roughly 14 feet, still more than twice the diver's height. Deep Blue was first spotted off the coast of Mexico's Guadalupe Island during Discovery's 2014 Shark Week filming. The team managed to tag Deep Blue, whom they estimate to be about 50 years old. The team, which included Mauricio, says the shark was pregnant at the time of filming, meaning she was likely super hungry. Mauricio, you're lucky you've still got that high-fiving hand, and the rest of you. Japan has the world's only great white shark in captivity. Wait, what happened? Shark! Is on display at the Okinawa Chimura Aquarium in Japan. And this is the only place in the world where a great white shark is being held in captivity. The 11 and a half foot long killer was accidentally picked up in a net on Tuesday. Behold the great white shucks, is it dead already? What the? After just three days? The cause of death is clear, captivity. The shark never had to die like this, said a spokesperson for the people of the ethical treatment of animals. The aquarium released a message saying, We had displayed the shark in the Sea of Dangerous Sharks tank from January 5th, 2016, but the shark's condition took a sudden turn worse and we confirmed it's dead January 8th. The sudden turn for the worse was you guys catching it. 
Sharks need to continue swimming in order to maintain their oxygen levels and body temperature. This shark refused to eat after being taken into captivity. It eventually sank to the bottom of the tank and then floated up to sharky heaven. Rest in peace, Jaws. If you'd like to send your condolences or hate mail to the shark's keepers, here's their address. Great white shark almost bites off more than he can chew. Everybody, get Orange County, California resident Penny Novak was walking along San Clemente Pier on the afternoon of January 18th when she noticed a fisherman had hooked something powerful enough to almost snap the guy's fishing rod in half. She, of course, started filming. When we looked over the edge, Novak said, there it was. By it, she meant a great white shark. Seriously, in San Clemente, California. The creature reportedly thrashed about for 15 minutes trying to free itself. And for a second, Novak said the shark went underwater and they thought it might be dead. But great white sharks aren't that easy to kill, even if you have a bigger boat. After deciding on a new strategy, the shark leapt out of the water and chomped down, freeing itself. Much to the delight of the fishermen and the shark as well, no doubt. Great white sharks are commonly spotted off the coast of Northern California, but one theory says weather phenomenon El Nino could be encouraging sharks to move south into warmer waters. Or maybe it was just a tourist. In any case, Southern California beaches are totally safe. Just, um, keep an eye out for fins. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now.